Construction on Highway 34 is underway to repair potholes and other patch issues on the Platte River Bridge. 1011's Eamon O'Mara has new information on a time frame for the construction. Construction has closed the Platte River Bridge down to one lane of traffic, but there was a chance of closing it completely. The people who live in Aurora and work in Grand Island know that there's uh, quite a bit of traffic going to and from both cities during the day, so we thought it would be best if we um, left the bridge open during construction. To keep traffic moving steadily, the Nebraska Department of Roads rented two portable traffic lights from the John Thomas Company. The primary advantage of them is it's, it's a much safer way of controlling traffic. As you can see, portable traffic signal is uh, off the roadway, so you don't have the flaggers exposed to the hazards of the traffic that you see here. While wait times are usually short, drivers I talk to are not pleased with the new unexpected stop. Really pain in the butt, inconvenience. They should have probably went about a better way of doing it at a better time, especially with all the traffic that comes along here. Is this going to make traveling to Grand Island a little bit longer? A little bit of a delay. Despite delays for commuters who cross this bridge on a daily basis, there is some good news, including the workers are already ahead of schedule. We are ahead of schedule, and we originally set aside about four weeks to do this, but we, um, we should be done in three or less right now. If the weather holds, we should have a good schedule. The other bright side of the construction is the portable lights keep cars from having to wait much longer than three or four minutes. We have a sensor on here as well that, that monitors the traffic. It will automatically control the traffic as demand warrants. Reporting on Highway 34, Eamon O'Mara, 1011 News.